Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fornaf, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to look at adding multiple watermarks to your Business Central report. To demonstrate how to add multiple watermarks, we will use the Fornaf file storage table and the reports from the Fornaf customizable report pack. However, you can add multiple watermarks to any report in any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate adding, watermark, adding multiple watermarks, I'm going to use these steps. The prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will add watermarks to the file storage table. In step three, I will use a responsibility center specific watermark on the orders. In step four, I will use a different watermark on follow-up pages. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be adding watermarks in the Business Central on-premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2020 Wave 2 release. I've installed the Fornaf customizable report pack and I've executed a step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Please note that you need Fornaf version 5.4 or above. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the Business Central cloud environment. I also have the Fornaf designer installed on my PC. The Fornaf designer can be downloaded from the Fornaf website. The first thing we need to do is upload the watermarks we want to use. There is a table in the report pack we can use for this, the file storage. Of course, you can also use custom tables with blob fields from your own extension. So let's go and have a look and see if we can find this file storage table. So I can simply search for Forna file storage and get the file storage table. And in the file storage table, I can specify a code, a type, and a file name to import. So for the code, first code will be 2ND for the second watermark on the, uh, for a different watermark on the second page onward. The type will be watermark because of course we can also uh, display a different logo on the second page, in which case we the type would be logo. The description will be second page. And if I import, I can choose from a number of watermarks, and these are simply some PDF files. If I cancel this, you will notice this is simply a PDF file that I've downloaded from the Fornav website uh, with some uh, demo watermarks. So I will use the flower for the first one. And of course, I need to set up a watermark for my specific responsibility center. And the responsibility center is going to be London. The type once again will be watermark and these types you can uh, make up yourself uh, you don't need to set them up anywhere this will be responsibility center london and i will import a file and i will import the wood grain for this one and that's all i need to do right now i have two records in my file storage table the first one is the watermark which is the the flower uh, for the second page and the second one is the watermark for Responsibility Center London, uh, which is the wood, the wood grain. The next step is to add a Responsibility Center to specific watermark to our order. To do this, we need to edit the sales order report and add some custom script to it. And of course, I'll discuss the script when we uh, get to it. First thing I'm going to do is start editing my sales order report. And the first thing I need to do is add the responsibility, uh, sorry, the first thing I need to do is add the Fornaf file storage to my records property. So I'll find my records property and add a new table. For find the Fornaf file storage. Then I need to set up a data item link. So Fornaf finds my file storage automatically. The data item link I want is on the header table. And in the header table, I'm going to link the code field from my Fornaf file storage to 
the responsibility center field on my sales header. Of course, I need to specify a further filter because we've said that the type of the FORNAV file storage was the constant value watermark. Once again, I don't want FORNAV accidentally finding a logo with, uh, with the same code. And finally, we need to calculate the data field. The data is stored in a blob field, and if I want to use a blob field in a FORNAV report, I need to calculate it. So I simply add the calculated fields property in here. And this is all I need to do to set up the FORNAV file storage. And you will notice the FORNAV file storage gets added to the field list, and I'm able to use the fields in the FORNAV file storage. The second step is to tell FORNAV to use a watermark in, uh, in our report. I'm going to do this in the header on aftercat record trigger. Of course, you can add this, uh, this code on a number of different places. Uh, you, can, uh, you can find a number of, uh, of triggers that might, might work for this. Simplest way to add this is on the on aftercat record trigger. And in here, I'm simply going to paste the code that I've showed you before. And instead of showing you the code here, which is not very readable, uh, we'll go with uh, go back to PowerPoint. What we say in this bit of code is if FORNAV file storage data is empty, so if there's no uh, watermark in the FORNAV file storage, then FORNAV will use coreport.watermark.text.text header the responsibility center. So I can set a text watermark if I can't find an image watermark uh curry port dot watermark dot text dot four color is red the font size is 20 and the image visibility has been set to false so if there is any image already loaded in the in the curry port watermark then it is uh, forcibly hidden else so if there is a fornaf file storage dot data uh, found then uh, the curry port watermark text dot text is set to nothing so we reset the text property we set the curryport.watermark.image.image to file storage.data. And we set the curryport watermark image visible to true. And if we go back to FORNAV and go back to the to the script, you will notice you don't need to uh, uh, you don't need to type all of this out. We can simply go to the curryport property, which now has a watermark uh, property in there. And in the watermark property, I can find all of the properties for the text so i can set the font for the text watermark i can set the back color the four color and the text and i have the same for the image i can set the background color and the foreground color for the image and i can set the image and i can set if it is visible yes or no once all of this is done i can preview my report and to preview my report i'm going to simply add a new filter on responsibility center and I'm going to say I will filter on the responsibility center is not empty. And if I now preview my report, we start with the responsibility center Birmingham, which gets the text watermark because I did not specify a, a, a watermark for uh, the Birmingham responsibility center. And then we have uh, an order for the London responsibility center, which gets the watermark. Once again, the Birmingham responsibility, which gets the text watermark, etc. London responsibility center again. Finally, we want to use a different watermark on the follow-up pages of the report. To demonstrate this, I want to edit the customer list report, and I will edit the customer list report because in the standard Business Central uh, database that I'm using, uh, the customer list has a number of pages. So that allows me to demonstrate the different look for a second page really easily. Uh, so instead of the record pro records property to get the data, I will now use JavaScript to get the data, which is another way of getting data from a uh, record in Business Central. So I will edit the customer list. Uh, let's close the, customer, the order layout. 
And once again, the first thing I need to do, of course, is set my record in the records collection. So I will add my one and file storage. And this time, instead of um, setting the data item link and data item link reference to let Fornaf find the record itself, I'm going to leave those blank. And what I'm going to do in the OMPRI report, since the second watermark logo is the same for all of my pages, for all of my records, what I can simply do is do a JavaScript get and a JavaScript calc fields which of course I've typed out beforehand. So I do a files, for now file storage.get based on the code 2ND and the type watermark. Uh, the for now file storage has a double, uh, a double database table key uh, based on these two fields. Then I need to do a for now file storage.calc fields on the data. Once again, it's a blob field, so I need to calculate it. And this gets me the data from uh, the watermark from the for now file storage. Then, of course, I need to add this watermark to my specific pages. And to do this, once again, I will work with the on after get record trigger of my list. Uh, the list on after get record trigger gets triggered on the first page, the second page, and every page after that. So that's a nice place to put my code. And the code I will use in here is uh, a ternary operator. Uh, what this says is if the current report dot page number is greater than one, the current report dot watermark dot image dot image is set to the for now file storage dot data. In the other case, uh, null. So in the other case, for now won't do anything. So if the page number is greater than one, for now will use the uh, watermark from the for now file storage. In the other case, so if the page number is one, uh, I won't do anything strange. So for now will use the, the watermark I've set up in the for now setup. If I preview this, we have on the first page the cogwheel, which I've set up in the for now uh, setup. And on the second page, we have the flower uh, watermark, which I've set up in the for now file storage. Let's recap what we just did. The first thing we did is add the watermarks to the file storage table in Business Central. After we did this, we were able to add the file storage table to the records property of our reports and use JavaScript to select the watermark we want to use. You can use any type of data link you want. Uh, one usage would be, for example, to use a different watermark for certain dimensions. If you want to know more about using JavaScript in your Fornav reports, please check out our new guide on that topic. Thank you for listening to me so far. Uh, let's see if you have any questions at the moment. Uh, we don't right now. If you do have any questions, uh, you can type them in the GoToWebinar question window uh, before the end of the webinar. I will continue with closing the webinar. Of course, you want to know more about Fornav, and if you want to know more, uh, fornav.com is the best place to start. If you want to download the Fornav Designer uh, or the Fornav Converter, you can go to fornav.com slash download. And if you want to use Fornaf in uh, uh, Microsoft Business Central Cloud, you can install it from the Microsoft App Source. We have a lot of videos on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Fornaf reports. And if you have any questions after watching this video, uh, then you can send them to support at fornaf.com. We will continue the Fornaf coffee breaks. And if you want to see a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, you can go to fornaf.com slash coffee break. And if you have any topics for future Fornaf Coffee Breaks, please let us know. You will win two fantastic prizes. The first one is, of course, a coffee break about your topic. And the second one is a 50 euro or dollar gift certificate as a thank you. With that, I see we still don't have any questions. So thank you very much for listening. And I will speak to you in the next coffee break. Goodbye.